Welcome to the Lachlan CMA's presentation on carp preparation and cooking. Carp have come to dominate the native fish communities of the Murray-Darling Basin since their introduction and are often blamed for much environmental degradation, including bank erosion, loss of water quality through turbidity, and they're also thought to compete with our native fish for space in our rivers and also for food. Today we're going to show you how carp can actually be prepared so they're just as tasty as any other fish that you might catch in our rivers. Out of the water, onto the ice. The quicker we can stop the stress factor, the quicker we can stop the histamine levels from rising. So it's histamine levels that rise that go through the blood system and out into the outer parts of the fish that make that terrible muddy taste in it. So what we want to do is to make the fish feel like it's getting hypothermia, which slowly puts it to sleep, which is the ethical way of killing a fish. And then when we fillet the fish, I'll be able to show you the pieces that have no bones and no blood and the bits that'll taste really nice. Okay, so the first cut that we're gonna make is behind the gill plate and we're gonna stab the fish through the scales because they're very tough. And then we're gonna cut from the top of the fish right down to the belly of the fish. So the second cut is that we're gonna put the knife in at the back of the shoulder and we're gonna run it right down the backbone of the fish. And then when we get behind the rib cage, we're gonna actually poke it right through and shave right down to his tail. Then we go back and we pick the fish up by the fillet and we actually hold the fish up by the fillet a little bit and put weight on the fish and then shave the end of the knife over the rib cage. You can see where the flesh comes out from between the rib cage. Then we shave right down to the belly and then we cut the fillet off at the belly flap. And then we've got a nice fillet with a piece of skin on it ready to go to the next step. So now we've got the fillet off the fish. It's still got the skin and the bloodline in it. So now it's ready for us to further cut it up and just keep the nice pieces that we want to eat. So we take the knife and we put it in just from the tail and we just skin it just like any other fish until we get to the other end. And then we have a fillet ready to be cut up for something else. And then we have a beautiful skin that's used in the leather making as in a purse or a key ring or something like that. So now the most important part of the fillet is the piece that's over the rib cage. And here we take the knife and we cut down across the top of the rib cage and down the back of the belly. And that's the piece that has no bones in it and tastes quite nice. The other small piece is the piece that's on the top of the shoulder and that we just cut in from the tail along the back. It's only a little piece, but it's a bit that we can use. The other piece is the piece that's in the centre that has the bloodline down the centre of it and that's a bit that tastes terrible. This fish still has a lot of value within its stomach cavity of which we're going to cut open now along the belly. If it was a female fish it would have eggs in it and they would go to Europe to make taramasla. This is actually a male fish so it's got gonads in it and those gonads will go into Czechoslovakia to make soup for Christmas Day or something like that. And this part here still has value and that's going to be made into liquid fertiliser at Charlie Carps. So on a nice sunny afternoon, I've just shown you an easy way to help the environment by catching this fish, taking it out of the water, having some respect for it, but at the same time by putting it on ice and how to prepare it, ready to make a nice meal, of which I'll show you how to do. So here's the fillet that we took off the fish down the river before, and we've got some other fillets and we've made them into nice little kebabs and some nice little finger pieces. The next step for us is just to get a little plastic bag with some flour and salt and pepper in there and then we just put a few of these little pieces into the bag and just flour them around. We've got the pan with a bit of oil and a bit of butter in it so we'll just put a couple of kebabs in there and we'll put a couple of the pieces of fish in there. So here they are, they're nice and they're ready to go. Nicely brown and crisped off. Quite a healthy little snack. You'll enjoy it. <laughs> Excellent. Beautiful. 
It's actually not bad. Let's try another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty. <laughs> yeah. Um. Good boy. That's that's, that's better than the uh, real fish I get at the local deli, Keith. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>